Let's talk about family folklore and recording it in a book. What is your family folklore and what do I mean by that? If you're not sure, picture this. You're talking to your grandpa and you say, Grandpa, tell me the story about what? Or dad, mom, tell me the story about, or what do your children say to you? Mom, will you tell me the story about whatever it is? That's probably your family folklore. I have um, a story called, it's a book, An Owl Named Moon. Moon the Owl is family folklore for us. It's a story about my father and his pet owl. He rescued this owl as a baby and raised it. It was tame and he it would ride around on his head. And anyway, there are a lot of stories about Moon the Owl. For his 70th birthday a few years ago, I wanted to make this book and capture that story for everybody posterity to share. I didn't know if I had all the facts straight because that's how stories are. A little bit of this, they, sometimes he tells this part and sometimes they tell that part and it had been years since I'd really heard it. So one day, and I had to be secret to get the, you know, it was for a gift. And so I called him and I had my um, you know, earbud in with the mic and I just typed like crazy. I'm like, remember, what about this? And what about that? And he was just telling the story and I was capturing it so that I had all the facts straight so I could put it into a book. Now, this happened in the 1950s, and so, of course, uh, he was a teenager, but he didn't have a phone to go and be taking pictures of everything like kids do today. So I don't have pictures of the owl, and so I had to improvise. Um, you know, I had pictures of my dad as a teenager, very handsome man, um, but I had to, I had to um, just find pictures of owls that I, were, I could use and drop in for interest. This is one of the first things I did. I think that if I were to do it again, or maybe I should do it again over and um, maybe find better pictures or just maybe a different way to display it. But it, had I waited, it probably would not have happened. So don't wait, do the best you can. I have, you know, this picture of an owl flying and my grandparents' farmhouse door open it goes along with um, the part of the story where my dad's a teenager and they had company over for Sunday dinner. And my grandfather, his father was sitting at the table telling the company, you know, how his son had a pet owl, which sounds ludicrous, who has a pet owl? And so he could tell they were kind of dubious. And so he whistles the whistle that called the owl and the owl came swooping through the open door, landed in the middle of the dining room table, spread his majestic wings, and looked around at the guests and what a moment wouldn't that be a great video to have we don't have it but at least it's written down we wrote it down now my grand my dad is a great storyteller and the grandkids all know many stories my dad was often out um, even for work he worked outdoors and has a lot of stories and so because this is a family history book well it was a great horned owl so here's some facts about a great horned owl and um, then I went one by one with the grandchildren and just said, can you tell me the story of Grandpa's owl or another animal story that you remember? And so then it was fun. Um, and here my little nephew has written the story and here's a picture that he drew. Um, you know, maybe he told many animal stories. He has a lot of rattlesnake stories and that to the kids was one of the um, as they remember. So each of the grandchildren was contacted and in their own words told um, what they remember about grandpa's animals. And then just a few other um, family history stories that were, you know, related to animals. He had a lot of animals growing up. So what I love is I captured it. They're written down. We can pass it on um, while he was still, he is still alive and he knew all the facts, you know, that I would have messed up and the grandkids, it would have been like the telephone game, but, um, but it's fun and, and light reading, not like a lot of family history books turn out to be. So think about your family folklore, 
capture the facts if you can. Find what pictures you can for real or maybe somebody else's. If they're not copyrighted, you can use those and um, put it in a book. Capture your family history.